That's right. Hello again. Okay. And yeah. as, as reporters, well, I'm speaking for myself here, but usually we're in a bubble of just reporting uh -huh. and watching the show and not really. So I posted on social media and it blew up. Really? Because people love the show. Um, That's do you great. know that? <laughs> Wait, you, you posted the booze cruise I, on I social media? I was covering it. But yeah. On social media and it blew up. I didn't That's know awesome. how many, my friends were, 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 you know, fans of the show. Are you aware the show is that popular? No, we, I'm not because we barely got renewed. That's why I'm so shocked. How often are your friends watching? That's well. Thank you for oh, that. Is. Yeah, that's great. Everyone's like jealous. That's <laughs> all oh, good. Good. That I makes love me. Videos at the Virgil. Oh, uh, thank you. Awesome. They're so good. Thank uh, what character would you like for a new season? Well, she's super pregnant, mm -hmm. so she's. About to give birth at any moment on the show, and she's very concerned about it, very stressed. That was one good thing about, like, if I was tired on set, I was like, well, that makes sense. She is nine months pregnant, so use it, girl. Um, but, yeah, in, in this season, at some point, Carol's going to give birth. And I will say the way that she gives birth, uh, we've never seen on TV or film before. I, I guarantee <laughs> Are you talking in the messy terms, or? I I can't give it away because uh, my boss, but I will say that um, I was very pleased with it. Water birth. Uh, I was. Uh, <laughs> You've probably water seen water. a water birth on TV. Mm, I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, who yeah. That kind of guess. So, She's not gonna tell I you. Know, <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> Bob's Burgers, are you still doing commercial now? Yes, Bob's Burgers is, is going. We won the Emmy, uh, which is very exciting for us. I'm going to brag. And <laughs> thank you. And we, yeah, we're back on it. We just, um, in fact, I'm probably going to go in and record another episode on Wednesday. But yeah, it's exciting. And you have a charity event coming up, too. We did, uh, we started, Bob's Burgers started a new charity called Beef Relief. And we had our first show um, last Thursday to raise money for the, for the IRC. And it was great. Well, all the performers on the show pretty much were um, people who had participated in Bob's Burgers. Yeah. So Kristen Wiig, I think that we're allowed to say, joins the show. Yes, yes. I was like, I didn't even know until I saw the screen. And I was like, whoa, how cool is yeah. that to have her on yeah. the show? Kristen Wiig is one of my you know, comedy heroes. So getting to work with her was just such a joy. Um, she's incredibly professional and really funny. And I mean, she's just so good at what she does. She's the best. And um, there's a cameo. I don't want to say who, because I was like, hey, oh, OK. Yeah. Are any other cameos that you can tease? Um, no, but there are more. <laughs> I know. I just sat in a room with Will where he wouldn't say, so. <laughs> But, the, but I will say everyone um, that, that is joining is, again, in comedy heroes of mine. So it's just been a pleasure to go to work and absorb their talent. So that's why this point you guys have, I'm sure, great shorthand um, and perhaps even a fantastic amount of input in with your lines. Um, how much of what you put into or improvise stays and how much is it strictly off the pages from the writer? Um, I would say it's 99% off the page. Um, Will is very particular that we say it as is down to um, the syntax of the line. <laughs> and so, so, but I have been able to, here and there, I've gotten a couple little asides that have made it in, but um, he works so hard on the scripts and the writers do that and we have so little time. Um, the, the show is shot under a, a sitcom schedule, which is five days, but most sitcoms take place in a house, in a school, in a restaurant, whereas we're on a boat fleeing Mexico, you know, all over the place. So the time we have to do the actual dialogue is so limited that we want to make sure that we keep it tight. So how far in advance do they use the scripts? Sometimes the weekend before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you don't really always know what, what's coming through? No. 
<laughs> I don't I don't like knowing either. Did Meryl Streep say no, she did it. I I misheard Meryl Streep say once that she doesn't read the script. She just like discovers it <laughs> on the day. But I think I misheard her. Um yeah. Oh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> She's not going to read it, or is she? Is she is one of your friends. <laughs> Meryl Streep. You are zoning out. It's okay. <laughs> it's, a, it's a long day. <laughs> Yo, what happened with you guys? He doesn't work anymore. Oh. <laughs> You brought up um, working on a boat. Let me change the subject. <laughs> You're working on a boat. How, how many hours do you actually put put in, like for uh, as you film a scene or whatever? And do you get sick? Yes. On the boat? Yes. Yes. So the boat was all of it was filmed on a boat, no green screen. We were on a boat for three weeks. Um, you know, there's the the that that those portions of the episodes I would say did go over budget because we were on that boat for a long time because there's a lot of technical issues getting on and off a boat. Um, I did get sick on a, on the boat and I have to say I've never um, uh, not enjoyed work before until oh. I was uh, seasick on a boat and just counting down the hours so I could get to dry land. It was tough. I I don't know. I I. I hate it so much. I call, I don't want to go on a boat again. And then when we had to go on the booze cruise, I was like, "Why?" But it it was okay. How was, long did you go? Uh, we were we were at some points we were just like maybe like, you know, a hundred feet off, like like sort of moored to the dock. And then um, for some of the scenes, we would go. We would still be in the sound. The day I got sick, they tried to go out into the ocean, and it was so choppy. That, and then they realized that they couldn't do that anymore. So most of the scenes that you saw, too, because we haven't green screened, are in the sound. So it's not that far. Yeah. How fun is it for you getting the script and reading through it for the first time? Um, it's really fun. It's, uh, you know, because the, the show is so unique. You don't really know what, you don't always see what's coming. So it's, it's always a surprise. And it's, it's, I'd say it's 100% fun. Did you enjoy playing a pregnant character? No, I did not enjoy being pregnant at all on the show. I dreaded it. Um, it was an interesting psychological thing for me where I was very embarrassed about it. And I realized it's because when you put on a pregnancy belly, people look at your body. And I don't like people looking at my body. And um, whereas like Cleo, Cleopatra Coleman was also pregnant and she loved it. And I was like, and as soon as I realized what it was, I felt better. But I, I didn't like it at all. <laughs> is it tough to get in and out of it? And you said you were on the boat, so how's the mobility? It depends on that. Well, yeah, I, that, I had a lighter one this season. The season before I was a little heavier. So some of them are Velcro, some of them zip. Some of them are heavier, and they look real. Um, this season, I was like, make it, just stuff it with stuffing, guys, please. <laughs> Yeah. Do you enjoy being a, a live actor, or do you prefer the voiceover? Um, the I enjoy being a live actor because it's uh, you know you put it's more involved. Like I'm, I get to be on set with everybody for at least twelve hours, and I get to form a family with them, and I get to you know have every part of my body be in it. Um, uh, whereas with a cartoon. Um, it's a limited time, like I, I only get to do it for a few hours a week, and so then it's like, oh, I wish I could do that. I wish it was longer. So I, <laughs> I like the fact that I can be social with people live acting as opposed to the, the yeah, that's why I like the friends. <laughs> You're really killing the game, as they say. You got the children's market on lock with yeah. the animation. Yeah. You got us adults just... <laughs> Googling over these characters over here. What's it like for you to just be so multifaceted? Is it just come natural to you, or is that something that you really had to mentally prepare as far as the workload is concerned? Um, yeah, it was always my strategy to get all the demographics unlocked. <laughs> um, no, it was actually, well, because of this voice and, and my face, I was able to get a lot of children's work. <laughs> and um, But then I started doing adult work, and I actually felt a little nervous about it. Um, 
like any like spicier things I was doing, I was nervous that I, if I had a lot of kids fans, they would find it, and they have. Um, I've noticed, like I do a monologue about taints, and I and I was looking at it the other day because I was gonna do it again for the beef relief, and I was and I just looked at the comments for a second, and then they're like, Mabel's talking about taints, and I was like, oh, this is what I was afraid of, but. What are you gonna do? Right. You know, I can't protect them all. Are they <laughs> yeah, they have taints. Yeah, it's fine. It's like, yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> so it's like going from a show where it was like two people and then three people, and then the cast just keeps expanding. Is it more fun? Is it a different dynamic? It's a different dynamic. It, it, at the beginning, it was very unique uh, and so exciting to get to just be one on one because I've never gotten that much. Um, acting time and and it was so special and then once they started adding new characters it turned into something where it was equally as fun because now it was an ensemble too and I always prefer ensembles because um, it's more relaxing isn't it like you can other people take the weight of the whole show and you get to create something so who would you like to see cameo um, so far, everyone I'd like to see has cameoed. I mean, I always, I said this in past interviews, of course we'd all like to see Beyonce come on the show because that would be a great opportunity to say hello to her. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. And I will never meet her. Mark my words. Really? You think there's going to be a Beyonce meetup in my future? Well, you never know what the fans have. And then they, if those when they come out of it, they break the internet. Somebody's tweeting, hashtag, and it's, you know, they're going to start up. That's true. I mean, you know, Blue we'll make it Ivy up. could become a Bob's Burgers fan. Exactly. <laughs> but then again, don't meet your heroes. Am I right? Oh, yeah. Well, you have to yeah. Oh, phew! <laughs> That's, that was smooth. He's on it. <laughs> We're through the key. And so, absurd, absurdity and double entendre on paper. Uh, when they say cut, I mean, how much do you have to kind of bite your tongue around him? I mean, he's old enough to understand, but do you have to have like a swear jar on the side? Yes, Keith has been, I'm good, I'm good around Keith, but I have a couple other times, sometimes the cast is, yeah, we're just like for this one episode we were all in a dinghy in the middle of the water and we were sitting there while they rearranged the cameras and I think the conversation did turn a bit blue and it's just like we all, everyone does like catch themselves they're like he's there he's there but he's so cute he's always like oh I know it's just a medical term that's what he says every time he is the the sweetest cutest most wonderful kid yeah his, his, uh, his outfits um, superhero yeah yeah uh, was that uh, old Mr. Forte or, or? Good question. I don't know if that was uh, Will Will's idea or one of the writers, or possibly um, came from the costume department. I don't know. Maybe a little bit of him. Oh yeah, maybe Keith wanted to wear it. That's a good yeah. What about your wardrobe? Uh, aside from the pregnancy suit and all that, uh, anything of your personality that you makes it on on camera? Um. Yes, I refuse to wear high heels. I don't own any and I won't wear them. And um, I, I had to really push season one because there's a lot of fun, funky high heels that are very carol that I, I insisted, especially at the end of the world, no yeah. woman's going to wear high heels no matter what. Um, so that, that got in to her wardrobe. She's always in comfy flats of... The most colorful comfy flats right now are campers. They're making some great colorful comfy flats. <laughs> How many episodes? Oh, I think of beautiful earrings in the... These are mine. Yeah, any of that make it on there? This is very carol No, that made it onto me. Mm. I think of her now and I try, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many episodes of the season? 18. And we're about to shoot episode seven. Amen. Yeah. Last so you didn't like the boat setting. So what about in the future seasons? Are you promoting any kind of type of place to, you know, spend the apocalypse? Oh, just on dry land, please. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I don't. <laughs> yeah. If you ever, yeah, shooting on a boat is so hard. Um, but yeah, I I don't care. I would I would do it anywhere. I'd do it underground. Just ground. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Um, your character on Bob Berger is a lead actor for following. I know because um, last year at LA Comic Con, there was about a two and a half hour line just to meet you guys. And yeah. This, and I know this because my friend was there just to meet you. Aww. And she said two and a half hours. Aww. How do you feel having you on such a following? <clears throat> It's been great, and it's been this really nice slow build, too, where, where it's just like, it's been on for eight years, and I think in the last three or four, it's been like, oh, wow, people know the show now, and they really love it, and, and they get it, and I love the show, too. Um, I'm equally kind of fan, fanned out about it, so it's been really nice, and meeting the fans, too, has been great. Something about Bob's Burgers fans, not to kiss their butts, why do I need to? But they're so sweet and wonderful, and whenever we do comedy shows for them, it's just like, I don't know, it's just the best audience you could perform for, so it feels great. <laughs> yes. Thank you. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more coverage from Muse.